Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 in the Weird Mongolia campaign. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of healing up and stabilizing since we're now at war with Japan, as well as uh, the war with China has kind of ended technically, kind of-ish. A um, little bit of awkwardness due to the all getting distracted by a war. Now we did burn a few chariots, uh, probably inefficiently, but I think in the end it's going to come out in our favor because we um, we did so for good reason. We did it to get us to this point where we have stabilized and now we can start pushing back and killing some of these cities and liberating some of them as well. I might liberate Palenki and Preslav. I'll have to think about that. We completed the heavy chariot. Well, guess what we're going to be building? It's going to be yet another heavy chariot. Because we are planning on upgrading them into knights. Uh, once we have feudalism, if we're going to be doing upgrades, we might want to get mercenaries since we can get it pretty quick. So I'm going to go feudalism into mercenaries since that's only two away, as opposed to getting divine right, which is quite a few techs away. Um, I would love to build some of these things, but I guess I just kind of still really need uh, chariots and catapults. Now, I could build a catapult. It's a decent mount production more. Maybe I would be better off building the catapult in my capital where I can get it a little bit quicker and then get the production boost in some of these other cities. Let's get you back to here to heal up. You're gonna heal up there. Let's have a look at Japan's army now. So Japan's army is down to basically about equal with me, but we should still be able to do some work against it. Let's get all these guys to heal up as we stabilize. No peace. So somehow he has loyalty in here, which is disconcerting and confusing. There's the knowledge of stirrups that gives us the boost to feudalism. Um, or feudalism gives the boost to stirrups, rather. Which will... allow us to continue to build heavy chariots until we have iron whence we will have to stop so let's get the advance going we want to retake this city if we can go there because then you can go to the hill and then attack next turn let's spend one turn healing on these guys you're going to heal up as well We need to finish off this war with China, but it's not likely as long as he has a bunch of spearmen. Um, we've got some work to do, but I think we can pull it off, though. So we get ourselves stabilized to where we want to be. Get into that hill. We're going to do a mass attack on the city. This will get us some experience as well as, uh, you know, recovering our city from the Japanese. So we have recovered our city. We're going to repair the monument in here. And I'm not going to get a new governor just yet. And now we can start taking apart the Japanese Empire. Uh, I might actually keep Palenki for myself. I think that might not be a bad move. Okay, I don't want to get hit by the chariot, the catapult. But you head over there. You're going to stay there. You are coming up here to wait by that iron. I don't quite want to get it because I have no way to build knights. And I don't have a way to upgrade them either. So that's a problem. So I think So now I heal more in his territory and I have a bunch of gold that I can upgrade all these guys into knights once I have um, This civic here mercenaries, so I'm looking forward to that. Are there any more tech boosts? Okay. No, I have a full I have a full golden age, which is always really 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 good to have let's get started in the assault. So I'm thinking we want to get Palenki. I might liberate both of these, but that would make taking some of these other cities a little bit more difficult. I'm going to send a certain number of troops to the north, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. I'll send most of you guys to the north. 
and we will soon have a great a class, classical era great general that'll come in very very handy um, it won't apply to our ancient era units but once we have horsemen and stuff it'll start applying so I think this is safe now to go for a granary um that's one two three four five five chariots heading to the north should be just fine let's get all these guys to heal up now you actually have a promotion so we'll take that to speed up the healing process you're going to heal for one more turn and now we need to bring these guys down to deal with our ma I want to get these cities taken care of before they become a real problem. He's building walls down there. We are going to need our battering ram. Did you get down there? You wait there. You wait on the iron. You're waiting there to garrison. Because I'm going to have to retake some stuff. He wants peace. I do not want peace. I want to take his cities. There are some catapults here. Uh, I will take this deal. This seems reasonable. I'll add an open borders to it. Maybe you'll add a bit more gold. Sure. Sounds like a deal to me. A decent amount of gold that will help me. Uh, so let's get some of these chariots moving. Get into that hill so he can stand in flat ground. Get a little bit more movement. We completed the heavy chariot over here. That's going to go down to the south. Uh, now, this city has really, really, ba really bad production, but it has okay growth. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tell it to just build a granary. And the more of these tiles that I can work, the better. I also kind of want to repair these tiles. So a builder down here might be worth it because that would let it grow a little bit better. So I think I'm just going to buy one builder. While I still have the pyramids. I didn't put in the card that gives me plus two builder charges though, which was a mistake. I should have done that. If I was going to make a builder. It's not the end of the world. A single builder wasted. A couple of builder charges wasted. I don't want to get this iron until I've built all my chariots and then I can move to some other thing. Um, he can actually capture that and I don't want that to happen. You're going to wait there. You're waiting there. Looks like another city-state declared war on me. That's fine. We took some damage. It's okay. We've got a catapult finishing. Let's go ahead and flip some of these cities. You go there. You go there. You go back in the city. You go there. You wait there. I'm not going to send any envoys. I don't need to. Okay, so this should be enough to take Nagano and some of these northern cities. Um, then I'm going to deal with the south, and then I'll properly attack Japan once I have knights in a few turns. So let's get these guys moving in. You're going there, you're going into the city. These guys are all waiting. We're going to go there and repair. That will hopefully give this city some housing. You have been discovered. You are going to have to fortify there and try to survive. Uh, we can claim our great general now. He will be useful once we have knights. And I think we'll be keeping him around in the north. We have a catapult now. We're going to get another one. We will shoot there. Since we can move and shoot with a catapult. Since it is beside a great general. Let's go there. And there. And then let's do a little bit of damage to this guy. You're heading down to the south in case they finish walls. And they did indeed finish their walls. You are flipping in six turns. Let's get over to Chengdu. In case we Cheng don't. Alrighty. We officially have a good surround on this city. And we should be able to take it out. Heavy chariot completed over here. Um, 
again, granaries just seem to be kind of like lacking big time in my empire. It's going to give me the growth that I need to scale into later in the game. So we'll pick up some granaries. You're going to wait there. You're going to wait there. There is a spearman there causing me issues. No peace. You need to die. It might be a mistake sending only chariots down there. What did he build in there? If it's a samurai, it's bad. Okay, I didn't quite get to see what it was that he built. It might have been a ship of some kind. This is a golden age. We are going to do... Um, I don't have anything that really gets me much out of this. I mean, I could generate some faith, which would be fine, but... This doesn't do a, hu a huge amount for me until I capture some faith. So I think I'm just going to take pen, brush, and voice, because that's going to give me a little bit of extra culture. Okay, I actually need to defend this city now. Uh, let's get you to fall back, take your promotion. You're going to come in and get that kill. You're going to shoot there, and you'll get that kill. Classical and medieval era. Oh wait, do, they come, do these guys count as classical? Or is it just because they're on flat terrain they get the extra move? I think it's because they're on the flat terrain. Uh, so similarly in here, a builder would be really, really nice to actually get it to somewhere reasonable, as would a granary. So we're going to do a granary and buy a builder because we can do a little bit of upgrading in this city in terms of here we have another chevy chariot that we're going to send towards the center um and now we can start capturing some of these cities we'll be keeping these cities even if they're awful, because they represent at least a non-zero amount of infrastructure and resources that we can use. Uh, a heavy chariot has been completed in here. Now this city, as well, needs um, some growth. So we're going to grab ourselves a granary. You stay there, you're staying there, you're waiting until we have the thing that we need. You're coming this way, you're going into there. These guys are all heading to Chengdu. Loyalty is less of a problem. You're taking a lot of damage per turn. You're kind of trapped there, unfortunately. Okay, looks like he left. That's pretty good. Okay, here is a granary. That's going to help this city continue to grow a little bit. Um... Now, I'd really like to build an encampment, so I think the place to build it is right here. And then over here, we finished another heavy chariot that we're going to send down here to assist. Oof. So I lost my knowledge bonus against the... Um... I'm going to have to purchase an archer there. Unfortunately. And we are going to grab ourselves uh, an entertainment complex right here. For the uh, amenities, basically. Now. This army... This army is going to swing up to the north to grab this city. Should be able to grab it next turn. This catapult is going to move up to here and go on to Takamatsu and take out Takamatsu and Preslav. I think I might get rid of... I might keep Preslav or I might get... get uh, liberate Preslev and then keep Palenki. Uh, maybe that's a backwards way to do things, but I seem to be just producing units primarily in this episode. We're going to go there. 
you want to take Barding, you're going to go there. And I think you're going to come down to assist as well. Not quite ready to do that. You are ready to move. Okay. You could actually move a bit. You're coming this way. Let's swap these guys, get full health guys in on the attack. So we take a little bit less damage. Alright, so we took some damage here, as expected. I'm going to rotate these in and out. You're going to shoot this guy. There's stirrups. And we are not producing any things. Now, I could upgrade here, but I need to have one iron. And I want to wait until I have mercenaries so I can get the 50% discount on unit upgrades. So we're going to swap these two guys. And you are going to run away and see if you can do a little bit of development for me. Now... Uh, there are some important things to grab here. I want to be able to embark my builders. That's pretty important. You're going to hold there. You're going to hold there. And this builder right here is going to go and prove that. And I did get another builder without improve, without getting the thing. But the plus one charge from pyramids makes that not completely awful. You're going to go right there. You're going to plonk right on top. You're going to come up this way. You're going to go right there. You'll go there. You'll go there. And we're just trying to get surrounds on these cities so that we can start to uh, do damage to them. Looks like he's building the Great Lighthouse for us too, which is quite nice. We'll be able to capture those and use them for ourselves. So let's get Chengdu flipped. Maybe we can get a monument in there in time. So we're probably going to turn a couple of these guys into knights. Let's just get them to heal up first. Uh, you actually can heal. We're going to keep that city. Now, if only China had built their city right here, we could have had like a triple... Triple canal? Like... Or a triple, triple water body canal type, type deal going on. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Uh, which kind of sucks, but... What can you do? Alright, let's get us around on this city. Um, we're going to attack with the guys not across the river first. You're waiting for mercs to do that. Okay, we should be able to get this kill now. Shouldn't be too difficult. Thankfully, all of his all of China's spearmen left where we where China wanted them. 11 turns. Could I plant like Reina in Chengdu to keep it from flipping? And indeed I can. So let's grab writing and currency. They're basic districts that we're going to want. We're waiting one more turn to do some upgrades here. You're going to repair that farm. You're healing up. You're crossing the river, you're going there. May as well pillage this for the bit of gold, since we will be capturing this city for a while. That is a horseman that I did not anticipate. And now it's going to cause me problems. Hopefully the archer will do the baiting. And I've got some chariots to come to help. You go there, attack there, you go there, you go there, you go there. Uh, we will keep Osaka. And you will just do absolutely nothing forever. But that's fine. Okay. That's a caravel. This is something we have to be worried about. I also think it's really stupid that if a city is conquered in the middle of building a thing, it gets instant destroyed. So let's retool our thing. If we got our great general, we don't need that anymore. We definitely want unit uh, discount upgrades. We don't need this anymore, so we can put that up there. We definitely want builder charges right there. 
and we definitely want unit maintenance reduced especially since our units are going to be getting a lot more expensive now with that done we can go ahead and improve this iron Boop. Uh, we are going straight to divine right for monarchy we are going to plug in although I am really really close to getting exploration it would delay my monarchy by a lot and I need that to produce more cavalry um, so that's really obnoxious let's upgrade some knights Okay, and in fact I'm going to pull these guys back now to become knights as well. Still some builders. The city is stronger now. Might be able to get ancient walls before it falls. It's not likely, um, but it is possible. Okay, and we don't want to improve that city if we're going to get lose it. You're going to wait one more turn, and then these knights are going to kind of take you where you need to go. I'm actually okay with them attacking this city instead. I would have been pretty upset if I'd lost a knight there. That represents a significant investment of my empire. I'm going to let the city die on its own. Yeah, we could start doing damage to the city, but we don't need to do that yet. Uh, you're going to fortify there. Now, you may die. Get these guys fortified in their lands because I do get plus five healing. I'm going to spend some time healing on these guys unless they don't need it, which this guy does not because he has a promotion. This guy needs it. So it'll be a while before our cavalry can reinforce, but we have a lot of it. And you should come forward to see if you can help kill some of these units. In fact, I should probably get crossbowmen, but I need to get my money income up as well. So I'm thinking a pasture here is perfectly reasonable, or I could harvest and put a mine. Let's harvest and put a mine. Let's trade with Karakorum. You're fortified there, so you should survive. You did just barely. No peace. I'm afraid not. We're going to move the battering ram in. That's fine. You're allowed to take that. I don't care that much. Kill that there. Steal his unit. Shoot there. Really want to pillage some of these. Don't want to attack the city directly. Catapult completed here. Let's get it moving. It's in range. Um, okay, I think our army is big enough. And now we can start to do things that matter, like granaries. Let's place down another district in our capital. Which district would be really, really important? I'm thinking... Uh, a currency one. So we'll just quickly get a granary. And then throw down a commercial hub somewhere in that city. If you can run that way, that would be good. So we are losing a little bit of gold per turn, but we should be able to recover that. 
Can you guys just come and support the center army? Do I want farm triangles or a pasture here? Looking farm triangles. So we'll force grow this city a lot. And we'll work just a shit ton of production in here. And see if we can get us around on Preslav. Okay. Battering ram, cross river. You go there, cross river. You go there, attack, attack, attack. And then you attack. That uh, should fall next turn. Okay. That's fine. You can have those cities for now. Wealth consists. We should be able to loyalty flip those. Um. All right. There's our ma. And there goes China. Let's get you all healed up. Keep city. Do I want to liberate it or keep it? I think Arma, I'm going to keep. Doesn't have any districts, so maybe it's better to liberate. It'll provide me with faith once I capture some holy sites. Definitely want apprenticeship for the plus one production of my mines. That's going to be really important going forward. Uh, now we are struggling a little bit with loyalty in Nagano, which is fine. You fortify there. You built your monument, so that means you have some passive loyalty to fall back on. It's going to take 18 turns to flip. I could assign Reina to you in Nagano. That would prevent you from flipping. Um, you don't really have very good tiles, so I'm just going to grab a water mill. These cities aren't super important, but I just thought I would grab them for completeness sake. All right. Can you heal up? You can pillage there. You wait there. That city is now surrounded. I won't heal. Um, farm triangles work now. I think I'd like to improve some of these. That shouldn't be locked in. Nor should this. garrison promotion you're healing up okay um, we pulled our unit out of there builder go and improve that salt that'll give that city a little bit more production let's chop there and you're actually gonna go improve these mines I want mines it's okay These aren't my these aren't my core cities. I can flip them back and forth permanently. Doesn't bother me. Keep maybe three knights over here. I like how I'm kicked out of his borders, even though I just released him. Nice mechanic for Axis. Thanks for that. You are going to take crew weapons. You're going to do some damage there. You'll go here. The granary has been completed in Ulan Batar. It's time we maybe got another kind of district. Something a little bit more economical and long term. An aqueduct wouldn't be bad to turn that city into something more reasonable. 
Um, I need I need economy. I need celestial navigation so I can build those because I don't really have very good commercial hub spots. Gold is a problem. Two gold per turn. All right, so they're not going to help me fuel my army. I need to figure out how to do it some other way. A really slow, long commercial hub build time in here. Work those fish tiles. We need the money. That's going to buy us a bit of time. There's more money up here. Let's work both of these for even more money. It does mean no growth, but it helps us on the money front. What are you worth? You're not producing anything. Okay, you're working that. That's really nice. No money over here. There is a bit of money in here. Let's see if we can't grab any money. Definitely worth working that. Let's work that money tile. So now we're neutral on money, so that'll buy us some time. Uh, you just really need builders. None of these things are super duper really helpful. I'm just going to go ahead and throw down an encampment district. It's going to take forever to build there. Magnus could probably be moved somewhere else. Probably would have been good to move him to Ulaanbaatar, but I'm just a little bit distracted. Okay, let's see if we can get this kill. Let's pillage there. There's two build charges over here, so let's see if we can bring those home. Major victory. You are going to come down. You are going to come down. We'll go to the next turn. Your delegation is most welcome. I should have um, should have been thinking about the potential for a naval push. But I think if we can take the city back quickly, we can kill that Quadrarium by taking the city very quickly. And what's nice about that is I can just raise it then and not worry about it. Now we can't get units through. He has to rely entirely on Palanque to get his uh, naval units to be annoying. Let's go ahead and assault that city to sign Victor to... Oh, I need to actually keep the city, right. We'll keep that city and now I need to assign Victor to it. Where... there he is. And we will put Victor in... Where's Takamatsu? It's not an option, even though it... it's mine. Uh Point Liang. Apparently I'm not allowed to station people there. Okay, sure thing. Sounds good to me. Plus four here is worth trading a mine, in my opinion. The city is going to have plenty of production. I also want an encampment. Too bad there's not very good tiles to place the encampment. There is, like, reasonable. Um, let's kill that guy. We'll get him as a unit. Now we want to see if we can grab Preslev, so this guy is in position to do so. We have some more knights coming in. We can do some damage to the city. You come this way. You go there. Right there. Okay. And you're going to put a mine there, and you're going to put a mine there. It's going to give this city a lot of production. 14 now. It's going to be a very productive city. Let's 
get these guys to heal up. Probably didn't make sense to raise this, but I was getting tired of playing around it. Um, I need that gold pretty bad. That's fine. So he killed my two wounded horsemen that I captured. Just fine. A physician without. I like to say I practice. There's mysticism. Let's send an envoy to Antioch so that we can get plus four gold per turn. That'll buy us a little bit more time. Definitely could shoot here. I think I'd rather do something like this. A little bit of a rearrangement. Or perhaps a derangement. Oh, go there, take that. You wait there, you wait there. I got another builder. You're going to improve there. Pillage for health. You'll go there, okay. I've got a healed up knight. Let's get you into here to heal, and you'll go into here to heal. All right, you hang out there. Yeah, nice, put me as far away from possible as to where I started from. Really appreciate that, Arma. I did, I did just liberate you, you know. I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't show any sorts of uh, appreciation or kindness towards me for that. Okay. We'll get that kill there. Definitely want to kill this samurai. This sort of thing is reasonable. Get that city flipping. Attack there. Ooh, I need a unit in that city. Repair that granary. You wait there. You wait there. Um, okay. I put Magnus back in my capital and try to chop out some of these districts. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Let's grab Magnus and assign him to the capital. Alright, nice. We're going to get a free Caraval kill. We'll keep that city for ourselves. We'll repair the monument. We're going to do that. You're going to hang out there. Come this way, you're going to fortify there, you're going to come up more towards the war effort. You're coming up towards the war effort as well, so are you. And we'll go to the next turn. And I think that's a... Okay, we're going to pull you out, he's going to capture that city, and then we're going to recapture it and kill his nice units. There's Scythia with some galleys, okay. get these guys to heal for a turn. I'm gonna call that an end to this episode. Made good progress. I think I could actually flip this city and kill there. There we go. Uh, now we have actually a decent amount of faith generation, which isn't terrible thanks to Arma, since we did capture some cities with shrines. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call that the uh, end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. We are off to a reasonable start. We had a pretty rough start because we got kind of caught in wars a lot earlier than I'd maybe been anticipating. 
but we should be able to bring down the AI without too much hassle. Um, we're about to finish taking out Japan, and that should put us relatively not too far behind in terms of sites. And we should be able to leverage this large empire into something resembling a navy. I think we'll go like apprenticeship into like cartography, square rigging type things. That's kind of the pathway I have in mind. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.